there is always that dilemma should we should i be part of large cap or small cap you know mid cap is generally there um, there's always that uh, feeling that small cap would give us great returns i think we should be part of small cap but at the same time in markets like this large cap uh, investing in large cap gives us that stability helps us in protecting the downside risk i mean markets going down large cap tend to lose lesser compared to mid and small cap so and shifting between large mid and small is also a task it's not so easy for a individual investor to say that okay now is the right time for me to shift out of small cap and give higher allocation to uh, large cap so there is some bit of active management skills involved as and when the market trends keeps on changing so that you stay ahead of the market so then uh, what needs to be done is bundle all these three in one portfolio that is combination of large mid small uh, in one portfolio essentially that's what these funds what you mentioned would do uh, that is um, uh, you know when you say uh, flexi cap fund they invest in large mid and small multi cap also invest in large mid and small ELSS tax saver funds generally they give you a combination of all the three in the portfolio so is value funds focus 30 they all um, you know like let's say invest in the combination of large mid and small but how are they different from each other when you look at primarily these two large ca- categories that is flexi cap and multi cap when we look at multi cap as the name suggest um, you know like i was talking about multi cap as the name suggest uh, it has to be combination of large mid and small but the allocation is predefined 25% into large 25% into mid 25% into small the balance 25% is left to the discretion of the fund manager that is multi cap but when we look at flexi cap there is no such limit the name itself says it flexible uh, it's left to the fund manager you can have a fund where one fund house is investing 70% in large 20% in uh, mid and 10% in small and then maybe another fund house could say 80% in large 15% in mid and 5% in small so uh, it is completely left to the discretion of the fund manager um, in flexi cap so uh that's that's how the difference but if you have to look at it from a risk assessment point of view uh 25% in mid 25% in small so we are talking about 50% allocation to mid and small cap all the times that is why multi cap fund uh, tend to be slightly riskier or more volatile compared to uh, flexi cap fund uh, theoretically that's how it should work